just book the exam, right? Like okay, good. Se select a date, you know, because if, if not, you will keep pushing it out, right? Like you will say, right. no, I will have more time or have more time, right? I can, you know, so I think number one is that is just select a date. So mm -hmm. that will put a little more pressure on you, right? Um, to actually get it done. So I think number one, that's, that helps for sure. Hi, Anthony. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you doing? Doing great. So, Anthony, um, congratulations on passing your FE electrical exam. And although you've actually you actually passed this exam last year, but now you're enrolled in my P Power program, and we were discussing your exam preparation strategy for P Power. So, it's like you had a interesting FE electrical journey as well. So, wanted to do a quick interview and take some time out of your busy schedule. Uh, so, a brief background, Anthony. When did you graduate? So I, I finished my bachelor degree in 2016, um, and then I just uh, continued to do my master's. I finished my master's in 2018. Um, nice. So, so yeah, um, you know, I had a couple of years out of uh, college um, before I you know decided to commit and, and start studying for the FE. Right. And what prompted you to get on to with your, uh, you know, look into FE exam and then what was your motivation for FE exam? Yeah, so for me, I think it's just looking into the future, right? And um, just wanted it to leave the door open um, to more possibilities, right? Um, mm -hmm. You know, if, if you become a, a PE, a professional engineer, right? And you can have your either your own company or other other possibilities in the industry, right? Yeah. But by having the license. Yeah, so you have your graduate degree, which is, you know, a good achievement. And then throw the PE license on top of it, and then you're set. So in terms of... Um, uh, your exam preparation timeline, Anthony, when did you seriously start your FE electrical exam prep? Yeah, so I think I, I enrolled in the course in March. And then, um, you know, I, I think a month of, after that, I, I will say, um, again, for, for work, I had a couple of uh, trips uh, that I needed it to do. So that sometimes I have some like um, stops right along the way. Mm -hmm. But I, I try to, to be as consistent as possible, you know, when, whenever I was at home um, to put to put the time and effort. Right. Right. Um, yeah. And in terms of your FE exam preparation, um, it was sort of a long time, long journey. Right. Because you enrolled in the program in March and you were yeah. able to, you know, off and on study through that. So mm -hmm. any tips, any advice? Because there are a lot of students who get find themselves in this situation where they might have initially expected that, okay, you know what, there's going to be a smooth sailing the next four months. I'm going to set it aside 15, 20 hours, 25 hours and get done with it. So how did you keep yourself engaged with that exam preparation? And, you know, what, what would, what would be a recommendation? Yeah, I think number one, I will say is uh, just book the exam. Right. Like okay, good. Se select a date, you know, because if if not, you will keep pushing it out. Right. Like you will say, right. no, I will have more time or have more time. Right. I can, you know, so I think number one is that is just select a date. So mm -hmm. that will put a little more pressure on you. Right. Um, to actually get it done. So I think number one, that's, that helps for sure. Um, you know, for me, I think uh, the you know, the FE has a lot of topics. Right. And you know, I, I, kind of like my strategy was to rank those topics and, and you know, the ones that I felt more comfortable with mm -hmm. uh, and the ones that I did not. And, you know, I pretty much put a stars in the ones that I did not. Nice. So so I'm sure that I put like more time on those because, you know, um, th that that's kind of like, you know, your weaknesses, right, in, in a way. Um, yeah. And the, the other thing is that you you won't know everything right so there are going to be topics that are really out of your comfort zone like you're you know you're not going to know everything so th there was sure. like a couple that you know i say i like look at the percentage of like um how much will that be part of like the, the entire exam right yeah and i say now nah, maybe, maybe i i don't need to focus that that much on, on this topic and then i will put a lot of more efforts into the ones that are are more weighted into the exam but you still didn't so, no, skip those topics right uh, no, I did not. I yeah. did not. No, I, I went through them. I just didn't put the entire effort, right? Uh, the, the, you know, yeah. as much effort as the others, right? But I, I still went through them. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that's smart. That's smart. Now, what's your third advice? Um, you know, I, I think um, just just think about the goal 
and what you really want to achieve because there's, there's going to be a lot of times that you could do a lot of things, right? Like yeah. you will have your mm -hmm. friends, so you can yeah. do exactly. Uh, you, you will find any excuse to just one hundred and one reasons. One hundred and one reasons. Exactly. Not to study. <laughs> so I think it's important yeah. if you need to write it down, right? Or like in in a, in a board or something, in a note yeah. or whatever. Like just just put it down, write it down, and say, hey, I just want to become a PE because of this. That's right? amazing. And and every day you just just look at it, right? And and see that so that when you are yeah. you know thinking of excuses. Right. You just yeah. know, just look at that and, and go and, and put the effort because yeah. it's important. So uh, and and just just one more advice I'd like to extract from you going back to my original question, because you had a, a start and stop journey. Right. And you started in March and you passed the exam in October. So that's what yeah. about seven months. So yeah. so I think the you probably answered it with your last advice that have it written down in front of you and look at it uh, frequently. But. Was there anything else that helped you stay on track despite these uh, unplanned, you know, travels, work reasons and whatnot? Any other trick, any other strategy that you adopted to, mm -hmm. to get it done and keep your sort of self-engaged for seven months? Yeah, I will say that um, I had some really good colleagues and friends, right, that, you know, I just maintain engage with them you know just just discussing uh, engineering topics in general right um, Good. and and i think i use them a little bit to hold myself accountable i told them hey this is kind of like my plan this is what i want to achieve you know and i just i just wanted to you know if i if i'm if you see me doing kind of other things and derailing myself from just settings, i me. want you to hold me remind me Good. right that hey you put this goal you establish this go and, and execute right and, and stay focused i think that that was that helped me a little bit so i think that's something that i probably going to do again for the pe right so support network it's important to have that support yeah. network that can remind you and help you stay on track amazing pieces of advice anthony and uh yeah so you were enrolled in my pe power program very briefly you signed up for the on-demand course uh, initially first and then same thing happened you started traveling a lot i never really yeah. got the traction going uh you came across my live training uh we interacted and i told you that anthony this will get the job done because we meet on a weekly basis we're going to go through all the exam topics so this time around i'm recommending you to sort of compress the exam timeline to three to four months and we'll get the job done on top of that you're at a new place now so not as much traveling so yeah for sure so the lesson taken away from uh fe electrical is what what are you going to do differently for people power? <laughs> no, I think I think the, the live sessions I think will be different, right, than the yeah. FE. So mm -hmm. I think that will help um as well to keep myself yeah. accountable. Um for sure. And I yeah. think just just follow kind of the other strategies, right? Um uh, I think I need to um just buy and uh, the, the exam, right? Put, yeah. put a date already. Right? Register so for I, the exam. Your first register. advice, advice number one, yeah. So advice number one for sure yeah <laughs> um you know look look for the same note that i put for the fee exam right and and just uh have it in this new place to remind myself every day and and you know have that support network um mm -hmm. i think i just gonna i think that formula worked for me so i'm just gonna just just replicate it for just, just for the pe right and yeah, yeah why not so yeah i look forward to helping you uh, with your pe power exam preparation as well anthony and this is going to be the final step and we'll get it done within three to four months. Um, and live training, I I strongly believe, like it has helped a lot of students. It will definitely help you and provides that additional structure. P power obviously is a different ball game. It's a lot more in depth as compared to FE electrical, but a lot more fun to prepare for. Um, and I look forward to being part of your journey. So thanks again for your time, Anthony, and uh, congratulations again on passing the FE in the first attempt. Thank you.